Greetings to you, Cross Park Church. Welcome to my workshop garage. Uh, when it's zero dark 30 and you want to get a video recorded and your girls are still sleeping, come to the garage. And the lighting's decent in here. So, uh, welcome to the garage. I uh, want to do two big things in our video this week. I'll try to keep them brief, but just recap this past Sunday's congregational meeting and then also give you some reminders about what's coming up in our life together. So first, just recap Sunday's congregational meeting. We're very pleased that Craig Paddock was elected as an elder and Tim Jackson elected as a deacon, both very, uh, both elected overwhelmingly. Looking forward to getting those guys ordained and installed uh, within a few weeks. Hopefully the second week in December is the plan. Um, another thing that we talked about during the congregational meeting was Jared gave an update on where things stand with the why. And there are, there's so much to be grateful for with our relationship with the YMCA. And as we look to the future, we have a lot of question marks. And some of those question marks have even recently been kind of extended into the, into the future. Um, so Jared asked that you would pray for our leadership meeting, which happened last night, Thursday night. Elders, deacons, staff, women's care team, uh, all gathered. And the main part of our discussion was what do we think about the future uh, and our location? How do we handle that? There's still more work to be done. Uh, we don't have, we didn't arrive at a definitive decision last night. We need to have more conversation and we want to get more input and hear uh, from folks. Uh, so we are planning to early in January, second Sunday in January, have a congregational conversation after worship where we can fill you in with uh, with a plan. Our, our hope is, what we're working toward, is to by that second Sunday in January, be able to present to you, the congregation, a plan for our future our, our, our future plan with uh, in relation to facilities. So we know that that's a significant issue in our life together. We've seen that uh, both just in conversations that we've had, but also the survey that y'all helped uh, fill out. We know that facilities a big deal. Uh, to us. And so we want to try and figure that out and, and be able to present a plan in early January. Um, we are staying at Hemby this winter. That's where we are now. We're going to do our best to uh, make things as warm in there when it's cold. And when it's really cold, we will be able to move into that back room there at Hemby. So uh, do be prepared for the winter. Uh, we know, you know, blankets and uh, hand warmers and hats and all that stuff. Um, but we are working on developing a plan for a way forward. And we want to be able to communicate that uh, as soon as we have it so that we can all be on the same page. Uh, additionally, uh, just by way of recap, Sunday's congregational meeting, uh, Jeff's 50th birthday is coming up, uh, actually Thanksgiving Day. So he's going to be out of the pulpit for two weeks. He's got some vacation with family. Uh, they're going to be they're actually on the road today as you watch this video, if you're watching it on Friday. Um, so pray for the Hardys over the next uh, 10 days as they'll be down at the beach enjoying some uh, vacation. Now, by way of reminder, uh, a couple of things coming up. Big thing to note is this Sunday is the, the last Sunday of our fall quarter. So next Sunday, for Sunday of January, we begin our winter schedule, which means no Sunday school next Sunday. This Sunday is our last Sunday of Sunday School. So the adults will be looking at the book of Malachi. Bob Eirig is going to teach that for us, working his way, working our way through the, the last book of the Old Testament. Um, so this week is the last Sunday of Sunday School. Next week we begin our winter schedule, with, which goes December through February, worship at 1030. This coming week, uh, being Thanksgiving week, there's no youth group, no 345 club, um, they will both meet again the first Sunday in December. So December 4th, Youth and 345 Club will meet again. Women of the Church, note that the women's potluck is Thursday, December 12th. I think that's a Thursday. I'm pretty confident it's a Thursday. There is an RSVP for that. So please note the email and click the link to RSVP ladies so that they can have a good head count for how many are going to come to the women's potluck Thursday, December 12. 
Uh, also note our Cookies and Carols service is December 15, Sunday afternoon, December 15, from 4 to 6. It's a really sweet time in our life together as a church as we prepare for our celebration of Christmas. So Sunday, December 15th from 4 to 6, Cookies and Carols. Our Christmas service is the following Sunday, December 22nd, the Sunday immediately before Christmas. Um, so note that that uh, is happening on December 22nd. Um, uh, there are other things in the email, the weekly email. I'm not going to read them to you all, um, but do read those emails. Uh, there are things in there that, look, I'm on staff and I read the email and I go, oh, I didn't realize that was happening. Um, so please do be attentive to read those emails and uh, so we can stay in touch and know what all's going on in our life together. Cross Park, we love you. Looking forward to being with you in worship on Sunday, our last Sunday for Sunday school this week. And then in worship, we will be looking at Romans chapter 6, verses 1 to 14. And over the this week and next week, we'll be looking at Romans 6. So this week we have the first half. And then next week, the first Sunday in December, we'll finish up Romans 6. Cross Park, we love you. Looking forward to being with you in worship. Grace and peace.